Okay, so let's understand what studying is not, okay? Because we need clarity. I think that for especially for people who study alone, it is important to have clarity in regards to what you are doing and uh, the activities you are doing so that you know, oh, okay, this, this is not studying. I'm not studying, okay? That's very important. Now, the first thing that is studying is not, don't be mad, I will explain watching Netflix. Please don't go. Please don't go. Dun, dun, dun. Don't go. <laughs> I'm very musical. I really like music, but I will explain, okay? Guys, Netflix is awesome, okay? I, I think I watch Netflix three to four times a week, especially on the weekends, but there is something that you need to understand about Netflix. Netflix is entertainment, okay? And students tend to confuse this, okay? You are having fun. You are having a, you're having a good time. You're enjoying your favorite show. That's not study time, okay? And I know this may seem a little bit strange, like, come on. This is not study time. I use Netflix all the time. And I will explain here why, okay? Many times the students choose the wrong shows, the long length of time, you know, very long shows to watch, very complex shows to watch. And they don't have one thing that I always tell my baby sardines about. They don't have no strategy. You know, they don't have a strategy. No strategy. There's no strategy. There's no methodology. There's no learning methodology. So at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're turning on the TV and you are watching a show, okay? And because of that, you may think, you may have that feeling that, wow, but I spend so many hours studying English practicing English, and nothing is happening. Nothing is changing. When in reality, what you do on the TV, you know, what you're doing on Netflix should not be considered study time, okay? Now, big disclaimer, there are things you can do to learn English and use Netflix and use TV series, but at the end of the day, many of you don't do that. Because it's time consuming and understanding what you have to do may be confusing if you don't have a teacher telling you, guiding you, showing you how to be productive with the TV show. And in most cases, you are using Netflix as uh, an entertaining moment for you to entertain yourself. And it's interesting because I think this week or last week, I don't remember right now, but there was a follower here on YouTube who told me that, because I talked about this in the past, okay? Here on my channel, I, I, I talked about this in the past. I have many videos where I talk about this uh, so that students can understand and put this, in put this into practice and change this. And she gave me a very nice uh, testimonial. You know, she shared her experience and she told me, teacher, I finally understand what you mean. And when I, when I dedicate time to studying, I study. And when I'm watching my favorite show, I'm just having fun fun and watching my favorite show and now she understands that there is a difference when she sits down to study and when she turns on the tv to um to watch a movie to watch a show and when i say netflix i'm not just talking about netflix per se but amazon prime hbo uh disney there's so many nowadays okay you choose um it's about the strategy okay and that are strategies you can adopt to use tv shows but what happens here is you watch a very long episode and throughout the week you watch another episode here another episode there and then you feel like oh I, I dedicate a lot of time. Why is my English stuck? Well, probably because there's no strategy, okay? 